Today we are going to talk about DNA replication. First of all, we have a complete double helix structure of DNA right here. The two strands of DNA are bounded by hydrogen bonds in the middle. It's supposed to be a double helix structure like this. So go to, let's go to DNA replication. The first thing that's going to happen is the helicase cutting the DNA strands open and destroying the hydrogen bonds in between them. But however, at the meantime, the ahead of the DNA fork, uh, replication fork, the, the double helix is going to be overwounded in during this process. And so the topoisomerase is going to come in and unwind the overwounded DNA structures ahead of the DNA replication fork. And now we have two separate DNA strands right here. And first of all, we're going to talk about the leading strand. It's called the leading strand because it's going from five prime to three prime right here. And um, so as a result, a DNA, a complement strand of DNA is going to be replic replicated by polymerase like this. And um, this is um, exactly how a polymerase is going to work because it goes replicates DNA from five prime to three prime. So this leading strand is going to be very smooth and easy. The polymerase, uh, poly polymerase is just going to replicate like this, and then we have a complete new set of double helix DNA. And then let's go to the lagging strand. It's called the lagging strand because as we know, DNA is not a parallel structure. The double helix and the two strands of DNA are have the opposite directions. And so since this one is going from five prime to three prime, this strand is going to going from three prime to five prime. And consequently, the DNA strand that's going to be complement, uh, complementary to this strand of DNA is going to be three prime from three prime to five prime. However, DNA polymerase doesn't replicate itself uh, DNA strands from three prime to five prime. So how does biology? manages to replicate DNA. Now is when the DNA or uh, RNA primates come in. RNA primates will be able to make RNA, RNA, uh, RNA, RNA primers in bursts. Uh, and so the RNA will be created in little segments. And since the RNA that's going to catalyze the production of DNA by polymerase, the polymerase can then replicate the DNA from the five prime to three prime. And so we will get fragments of DNA replicated like this. However, as we can see, they are in fragments, which are also called Okazaki fragments, and uh, DNA are not supposed to exist this way. So what's going to happen is that there is going to be a ligase. A ligase can link the Okazaki fragments together by bonding them like this. And so in the end, we'll be able to have complete two sets of DNA double helix structure.